Yannick Sinner versus Daniel Medvedev is the first semi-final for the Men's Miami Open for 2024. And both players have been super impressive to get here. Medvedev started the tournament off as the number three seed, and we get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he take on Fuchovic, but this was no problem getting through in straights. 6-4, 6-2. In the third round, he take on Nori, the 30th seed. And again, this is no problem getting through in straights. 7-5, 6-1. In the fourth round, he take on Kopfer, who had just taken out Baez and Umber to get to this stage. And after a close first set, Medvedev would run away with a second, 7-6-6 love, to advance to the quarterfinals. Finals. In the quarterfinals, Medvedev will take on Jarry, the 22nd seed, who had a really good run so far. And after a close second set, he'd get through in straights, 6-2, 7-6, to advance to the semifinals. Sinner entered the tournament as the number two seed, and will get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on the qualifier of Avasori, which is no problem getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-4. In the third round, he'd take on Grigspor, the 25th seed, and this was a battle. After dropping the first set, Sinner would fight back to win, 5-7, 7-5, 6-1, one, to beat Grigspor. In the fourth round, he'd take on O'Connell, who had beaten Tiar to get to this stage. There's no problem for Sinner getting through in straights. 6-4, 6-3 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Sinner would take on Mahatch, the unseated Czech who had been doing really well by beating Rublev along the way. This is no problem for Sinner getting through in straights. 6-4, 6-2 to advance to the semifinals. These two have played 10 times before with the head-to-head -head lead going to Medvedev 6-4. However, Sinner has won their last four matches, including that epic at the Australian Open where Medvedev was up two sets of love. Sinner fighting back to win his first Grand Slam. So Medvedev's really got to turn it up if he's going to get a win over Sinner and break the streak. Having a look at the shot quality for this one, when it comes to the serve, they're very, very close. Sinner just leading with an 8.2 to a Medvedev's 8.0. On the returns, Medvedev, though, much, much better with an 8.5 this week compared to a 7.7 .7 for Sinner on average. The forehand, that goes to Sinner pretty convincingly an 8.9 this week on average compared to an 8.0 for Medvedev. But Medvedev has the backhand at an 8.4 compared to an 8.1 of Sinner. So the backhands are pretty similar, but very keen to see how the returns of Medvedev compared to the forehand of Sinner really come to play in this one when it comes to shot quality. And the shot quality is calculated in real time by analyzing each shot's speed, spin, depth, width, and the impact it has on the opponent. This is a new way of analyzing matches brought to you by Tennis Insights. If you want to check out more, you can go check them out on Twitter. Link down in the description. Very fun matchup. So excited for this rematch. They played in Australia. They're playing here. Another hardcore match. I'm going to go with Sinner, though. He's playing so well. He's won the last four. I feel like the psychological edge is with Sinner, and he's going to win in three, I reckon. But let me know down in the comments below who's making the final.